Hi, my name's Richard Stevens. I'm a senior lecturer in psychology at Keele University. And I'm also a bit of a petrol head. So getting the opportunity to research the psychology of fast driving when I was writing my book, Black Sheep, The Hidden Benefits of Being Bad, was a real joy. So here are some insights about speeding from research. Surveys at the roadside have found that in the UK, on some 30 mile an hour roads, nearly half of the people passing are driving over the speed limit. And a survey of convicted uh, motorists found that while some of them had been speeding accidentally and that led to them uh, getting caught, for others, they chose to drive over the speed limit because in their opinion, it was inappropriately low. So it seems for many drivers, speeding is a choice. But I think there's an elephant in the room when we look academically at the psychology of fast driving. And that is car culture. For many people, owning a car and driving are not simply a means of getting A to B, but a pleasure in itself. Until we take into account the fun side of driving, I don't think we'll get to the bottom of why people speed. Psychologists talk about a state known as flow. When we're in flow, we get so absorbed in a task that we exclude everything else. It's all about the balance between the challenge of the activity and our abilities to meet that challenge. And provided they are well matched up, we're likely to experience flow. And when psychologists try to research flow, one of the things we do is send people out in the world with little beepers. And every time the beeper sounds, we ask people to report um, how much flow they're feeling and what it was they were doing. And interestingly, when the beepers sound when people are driving, they often report feeling flow in that particular activity. But there's driving and driving. And being in stop start city traffic is not going to be as inducive to flow as being on an open road in the countryside. Given that flow is about the match between the task and a person's abilities, perhaps people speed in order to increase the challenge of the task and make the experience of driving in any situation a more flowing experience. One survey of motorists that did include the concept of fun was a survey of motorcyclists in Taiwan. And interestingly in that survey, one of the strongest predictors of the intention to exceed the speed limit was challenge and enjoyment of riding a motorcycle, which opens up the possibility that speeding is indeed an expression of flow. And this points to some novel ways that people who are trying to make the road safer for everybody can manage excessive use of speed. If cars could be designed with some way of making driving at the speed limit a challenge, for example, using GPS technology to monitor average speed, perhaps then people would be less inclined to put their foot down when they're looking for a challenge. Mm -hmm.